The calendar set feature in Morgan is extremely powerful. It allows you to allocate multiple individual calendars to one shortcut. So you're grouping calendars together to turn them on or off together, which makes organization and viewing much easier. If we take a look at my calendar, you can see there's tasks, there's events, and there's things that are personal, things that are work, things that are physical, spread across different calendars. But if I push eight on my keyboard, you can see now it's only showing personal things. So coaching trampoline, date night, gym, football match. If I push nine on my keyboard, now it's only showing the work events. So the stand up, office hours, client call, and then marketing meeting. If I push seven, it shows everything on my calendar. In a week, this is really handy just to focus in on maybe just the meetings. But where I personally find this more useful is if I push M to go to the month view, well, now because I'm showing all of the calendars, I'm seeing all of the tasks, all of the events, and if I go to next month using the right arrow key, I know I have a meeting here somewhere, but I don't really know where it is because there's lots of things going on. So if I push nine on my keyboard, now I can see, oh, there it is, there's the Flow Calf Meetup, and there's another one on Wednesday. Yep, there it is, Snug Calf Meetup. So it's easier to find meetings because I'm focusing in on a calendar set. I'm going to push W and T to go to the week view today, and then 7 to bring back the calendar set to see everything. If I go down to the profile picture in the bottom left, click on Preferences to get to the general settings, but then go down to the Calendar Preferences, you can see I have three different Google Calendar accounts. Now, all of the calendars accepted in Morgan work with Google Sets. But in this specific account, we then have three different calendars, an events calendar, actions calendar, and personal calendar. All three have been ticked on, so they will all show. But if I click on the three dots, you can see I can then change the color. And this actually makes seeing the calendars easier inside the view. If I click red, for example, it will give me a preview of what it will look like. So if we go to purple, different purple, different red, go to green, blue, you can see I can change the color of that calendar. So I'm gonna go back to orange and come back to the settings. I like orange, blue, and red, but you can personalize that to whatever colors you want. And I find this aligns quite nicely with the calendar sets because when we go into the calendar set, you can see if I go nine, well, there's all the orange things. The reason this stand up is a different color is because it's got a tag, it's an event team tag, but it's still in the events calendar, you can see at the top. And if we push seven, we are now back to everything. But how do I do this? How am I changing it so quickly? Well, if we go to the top right, you can see there's a small calendar just next to the view. We're currently in the week view. And in between that and the command bar, the small calendar icon shows all of the calendars available. The first calendar account, then my second calendar account, and the third calendar account. The second one is what we're going to focus on. You can see these calendars are currently being shown because they've been ticked on. But to the right, we then have the numbers 7, 8, 7, and 7, 9. If I click on that, it gives me an option one all the way through to nine and then zero down the bottom. So there are 10 calendar sets. If I was to push two, three, four, you can see the numbers are being added at the top in the settings because this calendar is being added to the calendar set two, calendar set three, calendar set four. If I click them again, now they go away from calendar set two, three, and four. So if I push nine on my keyboard while the settings are showing, you can see now these two have been hidden, but this one's showing because it's in nine. If I push eight, you can see now these two have been hidden because this one is in eight. If I push seven, now they're all gonna show because they're all in seven. Now zooming out a little bit from just this calendar account, if I scroll up, you can see this calendar account is in sets zero, one, two, three, and four, and this calendar account is seven, eight, and nine, this calendar account is a mix from one and six. Moving forwards a couple of days, you can see I've added an event in where I'm doing my office hours. Now this event, when I double click, is in the actions calendar. So it still works with the calendar sets, even though I've got tasks normally in my actions calendar. So when I push eight, it disappears. I push nine, it's still gone. Seven, they come back. So the events and tasks, both inside of the same calendar, will work with the calendar sets. If I jump over quickly to my personal calendar using the calendar set one, you can see it's very busy with tasks. 
I actually hide my family calendars. So if I was to push zero, it's going to show all of my family calendars and other people I work with, but I don't want to see them all the time. So I use the calendar set one. And this is a quick way to go between my calendar and shared calendars. Another example could be subscriptions. So the Paris Olympics starts tomorrow. And when the subscription calendars come out for Google, I will subscribe to say the gymnastics event. So I will know when gymnastics is. If I go back to the month view and push nine, you can see this is a subscription calendar for the Euros that's recently finished. This is the schedule for the Euros. It's got the scores and I subscribe to this. So when I wanted to know what match was coming up, I push nine on my calendar set. If I go up to the top button, you can see you for Euros 2024 Germany that's calendar set nine. Now I'm not expecting you to have multiple calendars over multiple accounts but even just a couple of accounts or a couple of calendars calendar sets makes life so much easier to focus in on specific areas that you want to be looking at at that time. But calendar sets aren't the only thing that Morgan allows you to do to make things easier and this is something else that you might not know that Morgan lets you do.